This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hey everybody, Balian back here with another UFC video and uh, today we're going to take a look at my five favorite striking combinations. Now I've been playing uh, the MMA games and Fight Night games for a long, long time now. Um, Undisputed 2 for onwards really, all of EA Sports MMA, UFC 1, UFC 2, UFC 3 as well as the Fight Night games. Um, so I think I've had a lot of time in, you know, virtual... Um, fight arenas and octagons and things like that so um I, i've sort of changed and tweaked these obviously each game is different every game has different things you want to be taking advantage of um but these are my five current favorite combinations um that you can still use in ufc4 the first one we're going to look at here is going to be a rear teep fake into a straight and then a roundhouse to the body so we go rear teep fake straight roundhouse to the body now the good thing about this one is the fake um, the teep is good, but it doesn't always bait things out, or and sometimes it does. So if you bait something out with that, the straight covers the distance that they close, and the roundhouse finishes off. Even if they're backing up, you can follow them fake, move in with the straight, and still finish with the roundhouse. It's a great technique. Fake teep straight into the roundhouse. So it works a lot, hits that body, great from southpaw, can be done from orthodox as well. Dancing around on the outside, you can even fake the jab, then fake the teep straight into the roundhouse. So that's my favorite first one. Number two is a, uh, a boxing technique. Um, you can find this one a bit more from the outside. Maybe it's the start of the fight. Maybe um, you've been feeling them out and it's difficult to close the distance. Maybe they're blitzing, um, but you throw it from the out, you fake the straight, then you step in and throw a lead uppercut and then a straight on the end of it. So fake straight, lead uppercut, straight. Again, with the same with the, uh, the teep fake and the straight, the first punch in the combination, the uppercut, doesn't always land. Sometimes it does, sometimes they walk into it and it does even more damage, but it closes that distance with something aggressive that will prevent, um, you know, your opponent from, from hitting you with anything really. And that lead uppercut is fast and does a lot of damage, especially if they've level changed. So from the outside, fake the straight, step in. And you can throw it from far out here. Fake, boom, boom, right out. Outside of this black, fake, boom, boom. Well, I didn't follow up that time, but uh, yeah. Fake the straight, lead a cut straight. Boom, boom, boom. Great combination. Third combination is another boxing combination. Um, it's much better at close distances, but obviously you want to gauge when you're throwing it. It's a simple jab to the body and then a jab to the head. And then you can follow up with anything you want. But when put together, it's nice and quick and very disruptive. You can throw it straight on the end. Just jab it out, bump. You can circle out while you throw it. You can step in, bump, bump. One, two, and then you can follow up with another straight. You can even go back to the body with a jab, but bum bum, nice and easy, sticks them clean. I like to sit on the outside, slip, roll, bum bum, bum bum, out, bum bum, and then you can follow with a two, and then snap a leg kick, bum bum, out, inside. Nice, nice little setup. Not much of a combination, really, just the start of whatever else you want to throw, but there, jam to the body, jam to the head. My fourth favorite combination is another kickboxing combo. It's again, relatively simple. Um, it's something I like to use a bit IRL as well. Um, it's a double jab into a roundhouse, but the key is to circle. So you want to circle while you're jabbing, then stop and throw the roundhouse. Ba -ba bam. Now Izzy has this thing where he throws a double jab. He kind of plants a little bit more um, but jab, jab, bam. Now see that time you can step with the roundhouse, bump, bump, but the wind up's a lot longer and you leave yourself open to the counter. So if you just bump, bump, plant and then throw it, bump, bump, bam, it'll do a lot more damage and there's less chance of a counter. It's a lot better when um, they're against the cage or they're moving backwards. You can just jab, jab, plant, bam. It seems like it would be quite predictable. But you know this combination for me rarely gets countered. If I use it over and over again, it does it does get countered occasionally. But a lot more people look for the one two and the same side roundhouse. So if you double jab up, up especially because there's a plant in the middle, you know it's not followed up straight away. And because of the circle, people don't always see it coming. So circling out, up up, bam, nice. And my fifth and final combination uh, is a favorite of mine. It's not a combination that everybody has, but I know Easy does. It's a lead hook to the body lead hook to the head and they're straight and you can then add whatever else you want on it as well you can even come back with another lead hook but bum 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 now again this one you have to be quite close because if you step in 
it can be a bit risky jumping in with that lead hook. But uh, from close, nice. So you can slip, block, counter, bomb, bomb, bomb. Usually, once you've thrown that, if they've got anything coming back at you, um, this lead hook will usually catch an interrupt. If it's a straight punch, sometimes it can beat you to it. Um, but usually if you trade the straight and the lead hook, your lead hook does more damage. But it can be very disruptive and can be used in close. And you can also, again, follow it up with whatever you want. But lead hook, lead hook to the top, straight, and then come back with a lead hook. Straight, and then another hook and an uppercut. You can even go uppercut, lead hook, rear hook. You can go jab, jab, boom, 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 and then a lead uppercut. One, two, rear up. So it's, I feel my five combinations, you know, they all tend to throw together quite nicely. They all work nicely. Then you've got your range striking from the outside, maybe back up, step in. There's your first one again here. And then hang around on the outside, wait for it. Bam, bam. And there you go. All right, so those are my five favorite combinations so far in UFC 4. Now, though, of course, I use way more than five, and as it is a MMA game, it's a lot more about being cerebral and going with the flow and finding what works and obviously making reads on your opponents. If you keep using combinations over and over again, your opponent will figure out what you're doing. But these are just techniques that I like to use. They're pretty simple. I can use them with the majority of fighters, and I've found them to be very effective and help capitalize on my game and what I like to take advantage of. Hopefully you've learned something. Hopefully there's one or two there that you can put into your own striking techniques going into UFC 4. Um, I'm excited about the game. A lot of the new uh, character models and, and, and techniques and, and grappling systems and clinch systems are really great, really fun. Everything can flow a lot nicer well, as well now. So I hope you're looking forward to it too. Um, but those are my five favorite striking combos uh, in UFC 4.